Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post, it would mean so much to me. Follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. So this is my first time recording uh, since my little hiatus. Just a couple things I wanted to say is um, I'm definitely better, um, but I'm going through some pretty intense things right now. I uh, can't really say much about it. But you know having you guys there means so much to me and I hit 2,000 subscribers while I was taking this hiatus And that really meant so much to me and I love you guys so much and thank you for being here and supporting me A lot of you guys re reached out to me and it was just so sweet um, But enough of that sad girl shit uh, Today I'm going to be doing a piercing tour I'm gonna talk about all their pain levels um, their healing and all of that fun stuff because you guys wanted to see it after you saw my tattoo tour so I'm going to serve so yes we're just gonna talk about all my piercings um, how bad it hurt on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, when I got them done and then we're also gonna talk about the healing on a on an ass meter on how ass it was <laughs> um, because healing and the pain it is when you first get it done are two completely different things. Um, when I was making my notes about it, um, I realized that a lot of my piercings that didn't hurt to get were the most annoying ones to heal. <laughs> we're gonna have an ass -a meter of not really ass to kind of ass to very fucking ass, very ass healing. Um, so it's gonna be a fun video um, and I'm excited to talk to you guys about piercings I have, piercings I don't have, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. So we're just gonna start from like with my tattoos the top down. Um, I'm not really going to show them off too much because you guys kind of know what the piercings look like It's just going to be kind of talking about them. Um, so we're gonna start with my helix piercing up here I did this one myself when I was in high school. Um, probably when I was like 15 I took a Claire's starting piercing and I just kind of shoved it through. Um, it was a little dumb of me Um, so the pain was probably 3 out of 10. It probably wouldn't have been that bad if I got it done professionally But I didn't um, and I still have it to this day and the healing for it was not really ass. Um, I thankfully didn't get completely like a huge infection because that was really stupid of me. Yeah, that's that's the first one. Uh, it's just done completely wrong, but it's still there. I still have the Claire starter piercing in there. I don't know. Whatever, man. <laughs> After that, we have my Dave piercing, um, which is in there. I got it a couple years ago because I was like, oh, well, I heard it helps with migraines. I don't know if it did anything. Maybe it did. Or, you know, I could have changed a bunch of other factors in my life when I got my Dave pierced. And and the pain level for that was a 5 out of 10. Um, it was one of those piercings that it took a little long to get, you know, because it's like thick cartilage, it's not super soft tissue, so that was kind of the worst part of it. Um, and the healing was also not really ass. It was fine. I had a huge keloid scar on it um, after I got it done, but I just kept using salt water soaks and all of that stuff and it went away. Um, but no, really simple piercing to get, really easy to take care of. And that's my day. And then after that, we have my ear piercings when I got my ears pierced when I was in like fifth grade I went to Claire's which if you're a younger person watching this Please for the love of God don't go to Claire's to get your ears pierced Please go to a tattoo shop because the way Claire's does it is just completely wrong um, It's kind of just like using brute force and like stretching the skin and uh, a piercing shop They use a hollow needle where it kind of makes like a cut which is a lot better You don't get crazy scar tissue all of that anyways. I got mine done at Claire's it was a 1 out of 10 It just kind of felt like I got sunburn on my ears for a second um and the healing was again not really ass <laughs> i don't know they're just little low piercings and then after that uh stretching my ears that is also a one out of ten um it should be a zero out of ten but there was one or two stretches where i uh was kind of like oh that hurts i think it was my um double zero stretch i don't know i have a video of all my stretches i have a whole playlist if you guys want to watch those um but your stretching shouldn't hurt it did for one or two stretches and and uh, the healing for stretching your ears is kind of ass. It's kind of in the middle. Um, and I say that because I use glass plugs to stretch my ears and sleeping on those was a living hell. And they would just get kind of like irritated easily. And they were just like kind of dramatic, honestly, and annoying, especially because it took me a little less than a year to stretch my ears. I had very stretchy skin, so it happened very quickly for me. Um, and it was just like really annoying the entire time. That's it, it wasn't anything too 
you and saying it wasn't extremely fucking ass. And then after that, we have my two nostril piercings. Um, I had the same experience with both of them. And uh, nostril piercings for me are a seven out of 10. They don't feel good. Um, I know it's a common piercing, so I'm sure a lot of people can relate. They aren't the best feeling piercings to get just because it makes your eyes water and it's very sharp. And when they're putting the jewelry in, it's just like they have to fuck around with your nose a lot and it does not feel good at all. Um, seven out of 10 for sure. It's not a good feeling to get your nostrils pierced. Um, but the healing is not really ass. Very easy. Um, my first nostril piercing I had, I got a keloid scar on that too. Again, just used salt water and it went away. They've never given me any problems. Uh, sometimes if I'm wiping my face with a towel that has like a bunch of little fibers in it, I can like pull on it and I'll be like fucking ow. Other than that though, they are very easy. Um, kind of painful to get down, but after that you're good to go. And then we have my septum piercing. And for me, this piercing was a 10 out of 10 pain, um, but that's because I went to some crack ass piercer who did mine too low. So instead of my septum piercing going through my sweet spot, he put that shit right through the thickest part of my cartilage down here. So if you notice that my septum piercing is low, I'm aware of it too. And um, I just like, I don't know, I don't really care. It's all stretched now. So it's like, it's not too low. And I, this is a big piece of jewelry, but I also have a ton of like really small, tiny pieces that I usually wear and you can't tell the difference. Um, but that was terrible. But the healing was not really ass. The healing was very easy. I don't know, you just had to clean it and then it was healed, like that's pretty much it. And then after um, the septum piercing is septum stretching. And that pain is definitely like three out of 10 for sure. Like it doesn't feel good. I have videos of me stretching my septum too. It makes your eyes water and you're like Aah. And that's different with ear stretching because you're stretching cartilage and it just like doesn't feel good. And for that reason, the healing was also kind of ass. The thing is, is I, I don't know if you've seen people who have really huge stretch septums, but like their nose will get a little bit deformed because what it pretty much does is just like pushes the cartilage out. So for me, it was just like the tip of my nose right here. It wasn't anything down here, but right here it hurt like so bad for a long time. Um, it wasn't up until like literally like a month or two ago that it stopped hurting. And I've had my septum stretch for a little bit now. So that was kind of annoying and it was annoying like one time I was like hanging out with someone and they accidentally bumped my face and I started crying <laughs> It hurt so damn bad. Um, but yeah, no, it's done and over with now. If you're gonna stretch your septum, just be aware it doesn't feel too great. Um, and then after that, we have my Filtrum slash Medusa piercing. I have a whole video about it. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna see just all of the fun details and ish about it and it's healing and all of that. Um, that was only a four out of 10 pain when I got it pierced. Um, maybe because I had so much adrenaline, I kind of, my lip just went numb. So it wasn't really bad at all, um, but the healing this is our first very ass very ass. All of these oral piercings are gonna be very ass because you get so swollen. It sucks to eat. It sucks to talk. It sucks to do anything. It was throbbing. It was terrible. But since it was an oral piercing, those heal pretty quickly because your mouth heals quickly. But it was not fun and I probably would not want to do it again. Um, but it was worth it and it is one of my favorite piercings. But it sucked. <laughs> the healing sucked. And then next we have my tongue. Uh, my tongue piercing. I got years ago. Um, it was only a 1 out of 10 pain. It was about the same as getting my ears pierced. It didn't feel like absolutely anything. Um, and if you've been watching many piercing videos, you'll probably know that's a common thing. Getting your tongue pierced isn't really painful. They completely make up for it in the healing. The healing was again very ass very ass. That's just because I had a potato tongue. It got so swollen. I couldn't eat anything. I cried. Um, but again, it was pretty much fine within, I think, two weeks, if I remember. So, you know, you just got to get through that two-week period. I was friends with someone who got their tongue pierced and they took it out after a week. And I was like, <laughs> you just had to wait, bro. I promise it gets better, but it sucks. It sucks pretty damn bad. So that's the tongue piercing, bro. And then next, we have my nipple piercings, which I don't have anymore. Um, the pain of getting my nipples pierced was probably only a 9 out of 10. Not as bad as my septum, but it definitely is my second most painful piercing I've gotten. Um, I don't have them for what I'm about to tell you is because um, the healing, when I first got my nipples done, it was pretty much fine. Just normal he healing type of piercing. You just clean it. It's kind of gross for like a month or two and then it's fine. Um, and I had it for a year. I had them for a year and they were fine. And then the last two years I had them, it was 
was terrible. Just constant oozing, constant pain, like my boobs always hurt. It was just actually fucking terrible. And I held on to them for so long because I was like, I love my nipple piercings. They look so cute and they're an aesthetic and ugh. but it's shiny toyness of it definitely wore off when I was just constantly in fucking pain and constantly like watching out, especially when I was like having sex and stuff. I was always like, oh, don't touch my boobs. Like it was just annoying. It was really annoying. Like anything I did it would get caught on shirts. I would hit them on a door hinge and I would fucking cry for like an hour. So I took them out. My piercer told me probably the reasoning behind it was because um, I got my nipples pierced when I was 18 um, and then I had them until I was 21 and within that time my boobs kind of grew. So they said like they probably migrated because if you look at the scars, I'm not gonna show you, but if you see the scars on my nips, they are like way lower than they're supposed to be. But when I got them done, they were completely centered. So they definitely did some like migrating and shit. Um, those were just so problematic and annoying. Um, so I'm taking a very long break from them. I told myself if I'm 25 and I wanna get my nipples redone, I will. Um, but right now, um, I'm still heal healing from those traumas um, and I'm gonna have to heal for a while. Nine out of 10 pain, very ass healing just for that reason. Right after the fact, it wasn't too bad, but just whatever happened a year later was terrible. And then finally, I have um, two belly button rings, the top and bottom. I could show you guys, but like, I don't really wanna get up. I can, I don't know, like just look at any of my pictures with my belly out, you'll see it. And the pain level of getting my belly button pierced is definitely like a six out of 10. It doesn't feel great. Um, and the healing is kind of ass. <laughs> my first belly button ring was kind of ass. My second one was fine. And it's just because uh, I got my belly button pierced when I was 16 and I don't really know how to like clean a piercing. It was like my first big piercing. And and um, it was just kind of doing the same thing as my nipple rings, like constantly oozing, bleeding, being gross for like six months. And then I don't know where they were fine. And now, you know, they don't cause me any problems. I've had them for six years, five or six years now, my first one. So belly button rings are just another common one. They don't really pose a threat or any problems. Uh, they're just kind of there and they're hanging out. Sometimes they'll get caught in like fishnets if I'm wearing them and you know, that gets a little annoying. They're cute, I like them and they're fucking amazing. But guys, that is all of my piercings and their pain levels and the assimeter of their healing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was like, informative. Everybody has different experiences with all kinds of piercings. I know so many people are like, oh, my nostril piercing didn't hurt, but my filtrum piercing was the most painful one I've ever gotten. You know what I mean? So it's just different for everybody. Um, but this is just my personal experience. If you needed a second opinion or something, I'm here for you to do that. If I could get any more piercings, it would probably just be my ears. Um, I definitely want to get more ear piercings. I just don't care enough to get them yet. Um, I might get my nipples redone someday. <laughs> If I had to get another face piercing, I might get uh, whatever this lip one is called. Is that just called the labyrinth? I don't know. I'll put the name in here because I'm stupid or maybe I'm right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good on piercings. I spent my early adulthood getting all the piercings I wanted, the ones that I had on my wish list when I was in like middle school. And then I'm like, okay, well now I have them all and that's it. <laughs> I will see you guys next week with another video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Stay in school. All right, bye guys.